two, one, mark. We're counting down now to the T minus five minute mark. We will be holding at that point uh, to clear up the final issues for the, the count tonight. Uh, there are discussions going on uh, about the Master Events Controller, and we're still monitoring weather conditions at Kennedy. We'll put it in Word. T minus eight minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, we're still waiting for flight on 145 for recorder activation. Uh, Houston flight NTD, you copy 145. NTD flight, we're going to hold uh, that activation until uh, we get done with our other commands. Okay, I copy. At this time, I'd like to give you the launch target ID, uh, and OMS target ID, and PSM. T minus eight minutes and counting. Target late pain 42502, and OMS target late pain. 42702. Copy. And this will constrain our uh, the time at which we can pick up the count in TD, and I'll get back with you on those times. Yes, sir. Understood. And first step, Charlie, perform fast target uplink loading. We'll go. And PLT OTC, configure fuel cell essential bus source switches. FTG ISO. The orbiter access arm is being retracted away from the vehicle, and we can see uh, Commander Brennerstein waving out the window. This arm can be re-extended in just a few seconds if necessary. The orbiter access arm retract milestone. Copy that. OTC, PLT, essential buses are connected to the fuel cells. Copy that, thank you. Pilot Chil Chilton flips switches in the orbiter's crew cabin to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. Again, we are counting down to the T minus five minute mark. Uh, we will not start the APUs, uh, planning on holding at this point. Anti-DI ISO. Go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and have a TLS mass the officer quarter bits if we can. I I'm sorry, say again. Okay, we need to have a TLS mass the officer quarter motion. Anti-DI is SB negative. We're going to stop at 5. Well, the uh, clock will stop at 5 minutes 25 seconds due to uh, officer quarter failure to start. No, we'll stop at 5. Houston Flight is waiting to send stored programs, uh, which are final updates to the antenna management uh, until we. Uh, get closer to uh, uh, launch time tonight. Counting down to hold at the T minus five minute mark here. NTD flight 212. Go flight. The uh, earliest we can pick up the count at T minus five is 232400. We're complete with our launch target uplinks. Uh, we are currently no go for both uh, RTLS and tail weather. Cup. And all personnel on 212, uh, the earliest we can pick up the clock now at T minus five minutes would be 2324. That would put us at 2329 for T0, which would be the opening of pain two. Again, we will hold at T minus five minutes, and we are there holding. Launch window ends at 235407. We're now at T-minus five minutes and holding. 
uh, flight controllers have concerns of, about uh, weather conditions at the transoceanic abort sites and also here at Kennedy Space Center. Updates to the orbiter's computers are being uh, made at this time to adjust for uh, engine gimbling and loads on the vehicle during its ascent, uh, so ascent for part of the uh, flight. Go ahead. What the details of your no-go? Uh, resolution of ITR 367, pre-start. Okay, pre-start is inward. SPE NTD 212 needs your final clear to launch. Okay, to the SPE is go. Copy, IPR 367 is fully cleared. Is that firm? Cleared. Copy, thank you. It was, it was conducted over the net in case you missed that. Copy. And flight NTD 212, your status, please. ITC DLT APU pre starts complete three grade cutbacks. Thank you. NTD is SP. Go SP. All right, GLS is cleared up and ready to pick up the clock on your mark. Understood. Houston flight NTD 212. NTD flight 212. Yes, sir, your status on the weather, please. Yes, sir, we are working on our last constraint at this time. We expect to have a recommendation momentarily, NTD. Copy. And launch director NTD 212. Go ahead. Yes, sir. With AP, APU pre-start complete uh, and SPE final go, we are only waiting for flight to go at this time. And yours. I copy. The auxiliary power units are configured uh, to start as the count resumes at the T-minus five minute mark. Appears everything looks go uh, as far as weather goes except at the uh, TAL sites, and we're getting updates on that. Team is not working any technical issues at this time. NTD flight 212. Go flight. We're our last weather constraint. We are going to pick up the count as a request. We'd like to pick it up on an even minute if that's possible. Uh, launch director NTD 212. Yeah, we copy. Let's uh, let's check with the management team here, and then you can uh, get CLS all set to go. Copy. And I'll conduct the management poll at this time. Uh, engineering director, launch director 212. Bob, engineering is go. Copy. Thank you, Bob. Safety and quality director. Uh, safety and quality is go, Bob. Payload operations director. Payloads are go, Bob. I copy. Cape Weather, launch director. Launch director, we have no constraints uh, for uh, launch. Uh, steady state wind forecast from 330 degrees at 10 knots. Over. I copy. And ops manager, launch director. Uh, Bob, uh, we have no constraints. It's time to replace the Challenger with a flying machine. Let's launch it. Copy that. Thank you, sir. And Endeavor, launch director. Roger, we're ready to go. Copy that. Well, I hope in a few minutes, Dan, uh, we can uh, cut the mooring lines on this ship and have you and your crew sail out of here. So we'll wish you a good voyage, and we'll see you back at the dock. Uh, NTD, you have a go to proceed. I copy. Thank you. And given the dynamics of the situation, GLS, pick up the town your mark, please. Copy. Standing by momentarily to resume the countdown. We're going to pick up at 23.35. Stand by. We'll be resuming the count in about uh, 10 seconds at the T-minus 5-minute mark. Resume on my mark. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mark. We're now at T-minus 5 minutes and counting. CLT OTC, perform APU start. APU starts and work. CDR OTC, reconfigure heaters. Roger, heater can reconfigure and work. Pilot Chilton is starting the auxiliary power units, and Commander Brennenstein is reconfiguring the orbiter's heaters for launch. Uh, 
OTC, ABU start is complete. Looks like we got three good ones. Copy that. Thank you. T-minus four minutes and counting. Sequence four. The final purge sequence of the main engines is underway. The valves on the engines are being prepared for engine start. At the one minute point in the count, an engine ready indication will be given. A profile test of the orbiter's aero surfaces has started. The orbiter flight control surfaces are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to verify they are ready for launch. The three engines are being gimbaled and positioned for launch at this time. We have transferred to internal power. Endeavor is being powered by its onboard fuel cells. T-minus three minutes and counting. All systems are go for launch at this time. The external tank, liquid uh, oxygen tank, is being pressurized for launch. Clear caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. Pilot Chilton is clearing the caution warning memory system. The gaseous oxygen vent hood is re being retracted at this time. OTC, caution warning memory clear is complete. No Copy. unexpected anomalies. Thank you. Flight crew will close and lock their visors. This will happen in the next, in the next few minutes. Lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Good luck on the maiden voyage of the newest shuttle Endeavour. T minus two minutes and counting. OTC, uh, that's in work. Seven member crew is about to begin their first fl flight day for mission STS-49. Liquid hydrogen replenishment is being terminated and LH2 pressurization to flight level is underway. Less than two minutes away now from the launch of Endeavour. This launch marks the third shuttle flight this year. One minute, 20 seconds. And we do have an engine ready indication. Just a few seconds away now from the maiden voyage of Endeavour on a seven day flight highlighted by the Intelsat satellite rendezvous and three spacewalks. One minute. Less than one minute away now from the launch of Endeavour. Heaters on the booster joints are being deactivated. T minus 40 seconds and counting. T minus 31 seconds. Endeavour's four redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions for the remainder of the count. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. T minus 10. We have a go for engine start. Six, five, four, three, two. One, booster ignition and liftoff of the maiden voyage of Endeavour on a satellite rescue mission. Roll program, Houston. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Houston now controlling, roll maneuver complete. Endeavour's in a heads down position on course for a 28.35 degree orbit.
Endeavour's engines throttling down now as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Endeavour's now one nautical mile from the launch site. Engines now beginning to throttle back up. All three engines now back at 104%. Three good hydraulic systems and electrical systems aboard Endeavour. Vehicles now traveling 2,000 feet per second or about 1,300 miles per hour. Altitude 64,000 feet downrange from the launch site, eight nautical miles. Standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters aboard Endeavour. SRB separation confirmed. Time, 2 minutes 20 seconds. Endeavour is now traveling 3,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 206,000 feet. Endeavour Houston, performance nominal. Performance thus far in the mission has been as expected. Nominal performance. For time, and so we will be able to spend about 15 minutes.